Hello there, everybody. You are the audience. My name is Supersonic Blood, and welcome back to our Pokemon X randomized Nuzlocke. Last time, we made our assault here on Lysander's laboratories. I got greedy and killed Jump Puff after all that effort I put in to grind them up to join the team. That insane idea of just going for a super high sweeper that can burn out huge amounts of damage, you turn in. Yeah, I, I, I killed them because I, I, I stayed in on an Icy Winds that I knew was there because I am a moron! Still though, we have the lab key or the elevator key and now we can make our way on. Which floor would I like to go for? Let's go to the basement too. Let's get in. <clears throat> and now we make our way along. We have six Pokemon on a team but five which we can actually use. Listen, one who will face Lysander. Hmm? You are a tall dude. Hmm. A terribly long time ago. Hmm. There was a man and a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in that war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back. No matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. Had suffered too much. His rage had not subsided. Mm. He could not forgive the world that had hurt his beloved Pokemon. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. Why would you do that? You know that pain and anger and hatred. Why then turn it to everyone else? Why make others feel that? Why? That's literally the dumbest thing you can do. The man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. Ah. So you are doing it. You're using the ultimate weapon to stop the war, but in the process... The Pokemon that was given life must have known. Hmm. That the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. Yeah. One life is not worth that. Not that many. Not that many. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. You took thousands of Pokemon away from everyone for one. I'm sorry, you just can't do that. And so that's how they knew they were gravestones. Get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know, want to know unending pain like I have? This, this is a Zid. He has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. As I strut there. Strut, strut, strut. Can I let you out? Get the key back. Yeah. Ah. Damn it, where are his chambers? I don't even know where they are. 
Where? Which floor would you like to go through? Oh, basement three. Okay. So there is a third basement. Hmm. Alright, dead end that way. Let's see, here we are. It's... So the Pokeballs we received and the Pokemon we've gathered are where they need to be. Had it all up, and it means all our preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you. One push of a button and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have this potential or not. Oh, you're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. So come, let us begin. <laughs> Zero sick. Let's see what you do. All right. All right. Flying into the ground, not great. Definitely not good, but the Intimidate is nice to get the attack drop on. I think, given that, we will instead switch to Poseidon, because you've got Thunderbolt for it. And that's just a better move. Plus, it should be able to tank whatever it uses. So, Defog. Ah, it's, that's nothing. Nothing! Yeah, nothing. And now we will Thunderbolt. It's got, see, it's got Fire Blast. Like, this is the thing I didn't want to go into, like, Meta uh, Metagross or something. So, let's just do that. One tap. Good night. You are gone. Mm-hmm. Good bit of XP. And now we get the leftovers back in. Mwah. Back over the 200 HP, or exactly a hound door. <laughs> oh, we will keep battling. Let's use this. And oh, you may be too nervous to eat berries. Well, I'm not eating berries. I'm eating leftovers. Now let's surf. I think putting a lot of the uh, EVs in speed has really kind of helped us just outspeed everything. Like even those, uh, even even just that little bit. It's been really useful. Yes, we're a little bit faster than uh, most because of the points we have, but even so, that's still very useful. Oh, <laughs> you are wonderful! Your Pokémon truly are amazing! Yay! Give me your money! Thank you. Wonderful! Amazing! You have tremendous skills and bravery. When you add it all up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible power, we can finally free Kalos from the foolish humans that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red and blue button. One of them is the ult is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Now come on, push one. Why would I just not? I'm very curious to see the results of my tea search. Yes, well, here's the thing. Why would I push the button? If I don't... Uh, game theory, mate. Game theory. If I push neither of the buttons, then I have a 100% chance of not activating the machine. If I push one of these buttons, that is a 50% chance that I don't activate one of the machines. Given the fact that we don't even know what the other options are, there is no reason for... Yeah, alright, fine. I'll push one. I choose blue. Of course, you pressed it. Oh, you pressed the blue switch. Winner, winner. Congratulations. But I'm still going to activate the ultimate weapon. I know the boss promised that we wouldn't if you punched the correct button. But I refuse to let potential go to waste. I'll just use my remote here. <laughs> click, click. And the power is on. <laughs> Come on. Look. Look at the monitor. <laughs> so yes, the ultimate weapon. Oh, that's um those ha oh oh no. Oh those houses uh those houses aren't gonna be how oh that's bad. Oh no.
no. This is very bad. Uh-oh. It floats as well? Oh, I see. The idea is it's a focusing crystal. The, the, the other one. The other one's a focusing crystal for it. And this is... Oh, this is just going to destroy everything, isn't it? Yeah, probably. And that's bad, right? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is very bad. This is very bad indeed. So you've activated the ultimate weapon now, but what is it going to do? Also, I like the fact that the houses just fell over. Didn't get destroyed. They just fell over. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn! The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish except for Team Flare. Look at Geosenge. It has bloomed in Geosenge Town. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. Add it all up and this equals a victory for our science. Aye. Aye, it does. That's their way of just screaming at you. Go to Geosenge. Okay. Well... Which floor would we like to go to? Probably should uh, go and see the dude, but you know what? He's probably fine. There's no reason for us to try and break him out. He's going to stick there anyway, so let's uh, let's just boot, uh, head on out. And uh, we know we need to head to Geosenge, but first... <sighs> I didn't get to do this last episode, but we need to do this. We need to drop off human cacks. Umkax, you died because I was an idiot. You would have swept there anyway. I could have U-turned you out of there. I could have switched you out even after the speed drop, but I didn't. I let you down. And now you're gone. And there is nothing I can do to bring you back. I'm sorry, Umkax. Your sleep powder... We never really got to use it. You swept through an entire gym. I didn't even believe in you. I thought you were going to be useless. But you weren't. No, you weren't. Not even close. I'm sorry. I let you down. I guess that means we're going to have to put Staraptor back on the team. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Still very fast, very high attack. We just don't quite have the same. It's, it's never going to have the same effect. It can't. It won't. We still have a reasonable team. If <laughs> worst comes to absolute worst, we just push Rayquaza on the team. But no, that's uh, not a Pokemon that I want to use, given the fact that we literally have Vulcan. I think I'm basically going to say the only one legendary slash pseudo legendary on the team at a time. Um, and Vulcan definitely is a pseudo legendary, so uh, definitely gonna 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 keep that on the team for now. And uh, let's heal everyone up. Yeah, let's heal everyone up for now. It's uh, oh, I still feel awful about what happened there. It was entirely my fault. Like if if, if a death ha if a death happens and it comes out of nowhere, yeah, I'm gonna be upset. But the deaths that I caused 100% of the time are the ones that hurt more. They hurt so much more. Anyway, we want to head to Geosenge, which is this way. There it is. Let's head there then. Let's fly on over. Make our way up. And we should be there in time to stop it, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? I hope. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's just this. There is also this way up here, which we never went to before. Hmm? You better have come very prepared, both you and your Pokemon. <laughs> you know, I should buy some healing items. I really should, shouldn't I? I'll do that when we're done here. Voltorb! Hello! Oh, good thing we're on with, uh, we were on with Sobek to start with then, isn't it? Let's see how well this goes for you. When I just bulldoze everything out of my way. What? He switched? 
Oh my god, it predicted the switch. Oh, <laughs> it, oh my god, you're a genius. Now I'm expecting an ice type move. So let's just go into this. I could have gone Lapras. I could have gone Lapras here for the times four, right? Uh oh, mud shot. Wow, you predicted the switch as well? Oh my. Now, Flamethrower should definitely kill here. Use Brave Bird! Uh oh, this could be very damaging. This could be very, very damaging. This is a 120 power move. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Holy dicks, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, 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 I was terrified there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so back. Sneasel. Oh, I wanna stay in so badly. But I think I'll switch instead and go to Poseidon. The reason why I'm doing this, Poseidon's got moves that'll hit it. They're not gonna hit hard, but they'll hit it and it can tank it. It's times four resist to ice, if I remember correctly, so... So yeah, we, we should be good. Yeah, times four resistant to the ice here. Ice beam's not gonna do much. Surf is probably not gonna do much. So let's just hydro pump it. Stockpile. Oh, why would you stockpile? That's not fair. That's not nice. Let's hydro pump this. We hit the hydro pumps. We've hit every single hydro pump so far, which is impressive. Now surf should definitely kill off that. We're gonna stockpile again. Get even tankier. So yeah, defense and special defense rows. Surf might not actually kill here. But it did. It did. Okay. That's fantastic. Now we go back to the Voltorb. So let's go in to Sobek, who is immune to the uh, to the electric type, so should definitely do us good for now. Alright, send out the Voltorb. Yep, and we get the Intimidate off again, so your attack's in half, now we bulldoze, Baby Doll Eyes. Of all the Pokemon to use Baby Doll Eyes, I don't think it should be Voltorb. Still though, the fact that that predicted the switch, that it went from the switch into the flying was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But, oh man, ah, behold the moment of my defeat, don't even think about blinking, okay. Thank you. Okay. That's, uh... Lysander does what he can to help us realize our goals. Surely he deserves respect for that. No! Not in the slightest! Anyway. Now that we're here, let's go and heal up. First of all, let's heal up, because we really need to do that! Second of all, we can go and get some, uh... We can go and get some healing items, which I definitely need. Yeah. I, I am very impressed that Agni tanked that. Agni being able to tank that Brave Bird was fantastic. How may I help you? Let's buy. What do you have? Uh, super potions. Let's just buy 20 of you. Yep. That'll do for now. And that's all I really need. Everything else I've got good enough amounts of. So nothing else I need from you. Thank you. Let's head on out and head on up. Yep. So, up this way, still heading up. Supersonic Blur, I'm coming with you! When I was in Lysander's lab, the masked heroes told me what was going on. They also told me that Team Flare's plans, what tank they do with the ultimate weapon. Come on, let's stop Team Flare. No, we have to stop Lysander himself. The world isn't corrupt enough to give on up on yet. Let's go. Secret HQ. Alrighty then, this should be where we end up getting our legendary. Now, <laughs> I think you all know what I'm gonna do with that legendary. I, uh, at least I would hope you all know. Alright. It was 3,000 years ago, the ultimate weapon was used, and many Pokemon lost their life. Yeah, we, we know. Damn it. Ah. Uh, do any of you want to give me anything for free? Really? None of you want to give me something for free? Really? No one? Come on! Please? Literally, I'm right here. Just give me something. Give me something. Anything. A fucking berry. Ah, you're worthless. I wasted all that time. Damn it. I just wanted something for free. 
And there it is. The ultimate weapon's flower has finally bloomed above the soil. Don't you find its beauty captivating? As we speak, it draws energy from the legendary Pokémon. Supersonic Blur. I apologize that the weapon was unearthed even after you chose correctly in the lab. But conflicting egos drive this world. Things don't always go the way you want. We're not going to let you use the ultimate weapon! Even though resources, space, and energy on this planet are limited, the number of people in Pokémon has increased to an unsustainable level. Whether it's money or energy, the ones who steal are the ones who win in this world. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy everyone but the ones Team Flare chooses! So tell me, the Mega Ring, did you share it? That's different! We competed for it, but... When there is only one of something, it can't be shared. When something can't be shared, it'll be fought over. And when something is fought over, some must survive without it. The only way to create a world where people live in beauty, a world without conflict or theft, is to reduce the numbers of living things. So what about Pokémon? Hmm. <laughs> Tears? Why? Pokémon shall no longer exist. Pokémon are wonderful beings. Humans have worked with Pokémon, and we have helped each other flourish. But precisely because of that, they will inevitably become tools of war and theft. Enough of this. You want to stop the ultimate weapon, and I refuse to do so. So, I will keep you busy for just a moment. Alright then. Lysander, let's fight you again. A Combuscan this time! Okay. Interesting. Fighting and fire. We've got a lot of problems fighting this. However, we do have Aerial Ace that we could go to, which might one-shot. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it didn't! That's not good. Or a Sphere. That's a Psychic move? Wow! That did a lot of damage! Holy fuck! That did 80 damage. We cannot survive a crit if that hits. Christ. Okay, let's go with Poseidon then. I'm weak to the fighting, but that's okay. I think we will be fine. And I can hit it with... Let's just use Aura Sphere. I think it might be fighting. Yeah. Okay, we can survive that. We can definitely survive a crit from that. It will go first because it has speed boost though. So we have to be careful. That's literally the only thing we have to be careful of. I'm about to use Aura Sphere again. If it crits, we go down to about 10. Yeah. 99. That's still very low. Oof. Super effective. Combuskin is gone. Okay, what are you sending out next? Can we tank it with Poseidon? Maybe. A Zapdos. Mm. I think we have to keep battling. Because we don't really have anything that hits flying, do we? The only one that can hit something that's got flying would be Skillipede. <sighs> Damn it. Arrgh. The other option would be to go into Metagross and just bash away at it continuously. That might be the option that's a good idea. Because I don't trust that we could lose that to a... To a uh, we could just lose that straight away. So, let's go with Vulcan. It resists the flying. It's neutral on on the other side of things. So, for that reason alone, we need to deal with this Zapdos. We've got pressured, but that's okay. <sighs> Doesn't matter which one of the two I use. So, I'll use Meteor Mash for the... Snatch? You... You ass. Fine. Well, this might... This won't kill. Not even close. It's not very effective, though. So let's use Zen Headbutt. I keep forgetting that it's not very effective. It's Thunderbolt. And that's okay. Did about 60 damage. Uh, we know it's faster than us. That's the problem. Damn it. Damn it. That did... Ah. Uh, that did 
54 damage. If that crits, it kills us. And we know it's faster than us as well. I have to go Zen Headbutt here. I have to risk it. I had to risk it there. Oof. Okay, now as long as it doesn't send in something that's immune or to Psychic, then we are in a fine spot. Okay, another 3 HP. Pretty good. A Lantern. We can stick in on that. Lantern. Yeah. Water, uh, water Psychic. Uh, water Electric is fine. We can just smash that. Get a good chunk of damage. And we got the flinch off. That's fantastic. Now we do it again. Wow. The fact that Metagross hasn't missed anything is amazing. Vulcan has been MVP for a lot of these situations here, honestly. Uh, the Helioptile. Uh, Helioptile. Yeah, we can stick in. Stay in for that. I'm going to Zen Headbutt this. Just for karmic sense. I want to. The Metronome. The Metronome does so much here right now. Like, that's the thing, is we come in, we just bash, 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 get some good stuff going. Huh. The strength to protect, huh? But why are you really protect? But what are you really protecting? A tomorrow that will only end by being worse than today? You don't know that. You don't know that at all. You're deciding that on a whim. You're as strong as ever, but it's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and see for yourself. It's not over yet. Blah. Let's look for the legendary Pokemon. Trainers are protected by Pokemon, but they protect Pokemon too, right? Look, you can see the entrance over there. I can. You're as strong as ever. Yep. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just heal everybody up a bit. Let's, uh, do we have some hyper potions? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, nah, let's not use the hyper potions. Let's just use the, uh, Let's just use the super potions. It's what we got them for. It's legitimately what we got them for, so that's fine. You are very lucky that you're still alive. This, yeah, pretty much full health. We're fine like that. Yeah. Now let's head on. Let's hurry. Why did you stop me then? <sighs> huh? I'm afraid we're gonna have to ask you to turn back. The legendary Pokemon is at the end of this chamber, after all. Why did you tell them that? How would you ever do something like that? Eh, you know, make them feel like they ain't got a choice here. Uh-oh, you're challenged by Brains and Brawn Admin and Beauty Grunt. A Drapion and a Scrafty. What am I sending out, though? Or are we double battling? Oh, you send out Jinx. Okay, well, you got your Jinx back. Okay, let's see. Scrafty. Uh, probably... Ground, fire kick, Drapion's got crunch. Scrafty intimidates both of us. Oh, that's annoying. Right, okay. I'm thinking that we just bulldoze and hit everything. So big use bulldoze. I'm probably gonna kill the jinx. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Super effective on the Drapion, and it didn't do much. It didn't do much on the Scrafty. Drapion used crunch. It's gonna kill the jinx. I'm sorry. <laughs> Meat shield. My meat shield, no! Hmm. Drain punch. Alright, that is gonna hit hard, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, super effective. Okay. So I need a Pokemon that's good against this lot. Hmm. Don't really have that. So let's instead go Horus. Because I think ground flying, uh, ground fighting, flying. And Poison Bug, the only real thing is the Poison. So yeah, and we get the second Intimidate off, which is very useful as well. So, Sneasel used Fly. <laughs> oh, very nicely done! Very nicely done! I think I'll take a book out, a page out of your book there. It's both Fly Up High, the Sneasel, beautiful choice there. And now it just comes in, Bash. Use Thunderfang. Oh my god, so one of these is Thunderfang. That's unfortunate. The Drain Punch. Oh my god, it lived. It lived. It's going to get off a second fly, isn't it? Birdie used Fly. So everything's going to hit. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Very nice. I don't know if that was the one with Thunderfang, though. I don't know if that was the one with Thunderfang. 
It probably wasn't. Oh, cross poison. Oh, beautiful work there. Now let's just finish this with a close combat. And we should be good. Yep. Dealt half damage. Special defense fell. Sneeze will finish it off with a fly. Bam. Very nice. For the first time, Serena's actually had a good move and a good workout in this. Very well done. That was... Uh, the, I don't know how you taught your Sneasel fly, but you did. And that's amazing. You fools. You don't even have suits. Excuse you. I look very good in this. You might be strong, but your teamwork is still a bit lacking. Yeah, okay. I, oh, I, I did kill the Jinx with Bulldoze. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot it hits all of them, not just... Uh, that was, that was a bit silly. I get what Alexander is trying to do, but you can't do this. Even if things are just as we heard. I still can't believe they're sending small, uh, smart guys like us to run off like some little retata that wandered in. We won't lose. You won't get one step further. The trainers moving on and, uh, to the next level will be Team Flair. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> I mean, trainer and rich boy grunt. Send a Rotom and a Dino. Okay. Well, the Rotom's in grass form, which is a pain in the ass. She healed up a Jinx. All right, get the Intimidate off. That's fine. That's also fine. Forewarn. Uh, she cold. It's gonna go for sheer cold, but that's fine. All my Pokemon are higher level than it, so that's fine. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. Let's go Vulcan. Oh, I was like, shit, it's got sheer cold. But then I realized, wait, sheer cold can't hit if it's a higher le if the Pokemon it's trying to hit is higher level. So let's go Vulcan. Ice Crash on the Jinx is gonna hit the Dragon. Good choice. Very good choice. Rotom's using Hex on Jinx, and it did a lot of damage. Use Dragon Breath on me. Eh, not going to do that much damage. That's fantastic. Right. I don't, I can't, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and use uh, Zen Headbutt on the Rotom. Icicle Crash. Uh, Dino avoided the attack. That's unfortunate. Wow, they both avoided the attacks. That's very unfortunate for me. Okay, what's it going to use then? Like a fire move, I'm guessing? It's going to use Fusion Bolt. Okay, it doesn't have anything that can definitely hit. Because Fusion Bolt's not going to do much. Yeah. Send out the Sneasel. Okay. Alright then. Zen Headbutt. Let's use it on the Dino. Ice Burn. What are you doing? What did you do that for? Doesn't affect. Wait, what? Oh, it's a Dark type. I suck. God. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I almost lost a Vulcan. Let's intimidate these bastards. Fuck me. Ice burn. Come on. Please. Kill it. Yes, that gets rid of the fusion bolt. Oh my god. <sighs> Super effective crit. 100 damage straight off the bat. Hex, not going to do much damage because I'm also Dark type. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Now we'll use Aerial Ace on Rotom. This should do good damage. No, it didn't. Ice Burn. What is this doing? Okay. It's using an Uproar. Ow. Okay. Rotom is making an Uproar. I think then I should switch out. And just go to, like, Agni. Let's go Agni here. It's Grass-type. We've got Fire. That's fine. Go Agni. Yeah. Yeah. That's some good damage right there. And you got the burn off! Woohoo! That's very good. Now, the uproar goes through. It did over half damage, but the burn comes through. Very nice. Now, 
Let's just finish it off with a flamethrower. You will be burnt to the ground. Very good. There we go. All right. Not bad at all. Not bad. Took out both of those two. Yes, I lost, but no matter. Like, Sander is the one who will take care of things. I may have lost, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, you both said the exact same thing. Okay, that's unfortunate for you. Holy shit. Right, bye. Pokemon, heal up every single one of you. Because I'm not going to lie. You're all way too bloody low for, for this. <gasps> oh my god. That was that was terrifying. Not even gonna lie. I'm not even going to give it a chance. Every single one of them stay healed up. What's up next? Blah, Serena! I don't believe it. What are you doing here, Shauna? I'm sorry. I know. I'm just gonna slow you down. But... But friends should stick together! I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all the way out here, and I wasn't feeling very con And I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. You're right. Friends should stick together. Blur. We should all go together, right? But... I know you're concerned because it's dangerous, but it would be more dangerous for her to go back alone. Shauna, let's go together. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it is kind of unfortunate that you just followed on. But for now, we've got to keep on going. My plans haven't succeeded yet. We cannot afford to make any careless mistakes. All right then, let's see what these careless mistakes could be. Okay, what do you got? A Camerot and a Crocodile. <gasps> you have your own Crocodile? Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so let's look at it this way. We know that the Crocodile, uh, the Crocodile is not going to do much to me, but it is going to do a lot to Jinx. I, the fire isn't going to do much either. I want to keep the Jinx alive uh, as best as possible, but honestly, Bulldoze might be the best move here. I guess if that's the case, uh, the other option is just if we're uh, immune to ground, then go into Horus, get the second Intimidate off, which could be very useful here. Uh, this not only helps, uh, this also helps keep the Jinx alive. We just hope that there is no rock moves being used here. But this should help. Ice Fang. Oh no. That does a lot, but the double Intimidate is so strong. Wow. It's pretty strong. Yeah. And then the ice uh, the ice goes off on the crocodile. Cram up use explosion. That's gonna hit both of us. Oh eruption, sorry. Holy shit. Hurt by his black sludge. Holy shit. Right, okay. I think Sneasel is going to hit Crocodile again. We have to switch out Birdie. We just have to. And I think if that's the case, we have to go to Poseidon. There's no way we can stick around on anyone else. Poseidon has to be the one we go to. It's the most bulk we've got. It's the best option we've got. There's no way we can stick anyone else in. Birdie is way too low. Oh, it's using a two-turn move. No. Crocodile used Ice Fang. It's not very effective. <laughs> times four resistance. Use takedown. That also doesn't do much. And it's going to get hit by a, a, a recoil. And Crocodile gets hurt by the black sludge. And we get our leftovers, so we literally heal 99% of the damage we took there. Alright. Now, I'm going to surf. I'm going to surf. I don't care. Ice burn goes off first because it's faster than us, so that's fantastic. That should kill. Which means I probably didn't need to go for Surf. But it should resist anyway. So Sneasel should be fine here. Yeah. Let's use that Surf. Get that over and done with. Yes. Camera up is gone. Now we get to heal everyone back up. Oh, the fact that Birdie tanked that hit was so good. Birdie tanked not only... Uh, genuinely, the two attack drops from the Intimidate were ridiculous. So, so useful. So useful. That's why Intimidate is so strong in Nuzlocke. It's just ridiculous. Birdie took 146 damage in one turn on that. That was ridiculous. And we're almost through our super potions that I brought for the entirety of this place. Jeez. All right. I think we're here. There should be one, maybe two more. Maybe. 
Oh my god, that was it. That was it. It's an electric lock. What should we do? This might help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck on a puzzle. Clement gave it to me. An electric lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? Let's see. Uh, Ta-da! The lock opened. Oh, and the device actually broke. Amazing, Shauna. You and Clement's devices are both full of surprises. So we're finally here. The legendary Pokemon is inside. Let's go help it. Let's. Let's see what the legendary Pokemon is. I don't know if it's going to be the static. It might be the static encounter. It might be normal. It might normally be the one that we think it is. But I don't know. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's somehow hard to breathe in here. Hey, is that thing that looks like a tree the legendary Pokemon? It doesn't look like it's alive, but... What? Where did they come from? Where did you six come from? None of your business, kid. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon's energy. But just to make sh double sure nothing goes wrong, let's take these runs out. No, I hate being chased! Hmm? Oh, Shauna, this again? Let's take- I'll let you- let you take care of things. I'll protect Torna. I have to take out all five of these? Ha! Ah. You really think you can beat us? Well, there's four of them. So, I guess we'll have to do that next time, ladies and gentlemen. Because we've been going for quite a while, and I wouldn't want to keep things going too long. And we know what's going to happen next time. But... You'll have to tune in to see how things pan out. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Supersonic, but remember to like, comment, subscribe if you're looking for more, and to share this stuff so people know that it exists. You guys have been a fantastic audience, and I shall see you all next time.